In this series, we are going to be starting from absolutely nothing and trying to acquire all the riches that Los Santos has to offer. Welcome to Broke to Ballin'. Hello there everyone, welcome back to Broke to Bowling, the best GTA series on YouTube. And if you disagree, I'll, I'll be really sad. But last episode, we finished off upgrading our Presser Mark II. Yes, this bike right here that has already caused me a lot of pain because my, my guy can't get on it most of the time. He's managed this time, but if you watch the last video, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But we finished upgrading this for the most part with the missiles and also some booster speed or some acceleration speed, I guess. And in today's episode, we're gonna go ahead and see how much of a help this thing will really be. This has been my goal since pretty much episode one of the series because I knew the Oppressor Mark II was going to make life so much easier when it came to grinding money. And with the new GTA Online DLC coming out in just about four days, we're going to need as much as we can get. Speaking of the DLC, it's called the Los Santos Drug War, or Drug Wars, I believe. There's not too much information about it right now. All we know is as to do with drugs, it's going to be in Blaine County and our boy Ron is going to be in it. But that's about it. But until then, we need money because currently we have 14k, which isn't a lot and my bike is very quickly falling to the ground which I don't really appreciate but I guess it will have to do. Speaking of money actually if we head on over to this building right here you see this tall one I'm sure a lot of you know what this is. This is one of the agencies located around GTA and this agency gives you access to the contract mission with Franklin and a few other different things. Well if we go ahead and go on to our Dynasty 8 executive app we can see that this week they are on sale. I believe it's about 40% off as you can see this one little soul that's how you pronounce it right soul i really hope i'm getting that right if i'm not i feel like an absolute idiot but this is usually two million dollars and it's down at 1.2 obviously that is 1.2 more than we currently have but by the end of this episode we should have enough to afford this and the reason why i want to afford this is well it's on discount and you know wouldn't women be shopping terrible joke, I'm sorry. But also the payphone hits that you get with this job that usually get you $75,000 per payphone hit are currently 50% double, 50% double? The, the English ain't working again, is it boys? 50% extra cash. So we will be getting around $100,000 every single time we do one of those payphone hits. And that's going to be a really, really good way to get some money while I am grinding up for the new update. So how am I going to get that money, you ask? Well, I'm going to put myself through the same hell that I did the past episode. And why would you want to watch that? Well, what we're going to do is a little comparison here. So far in the series, we have done some of the MC Clubhouse biker missions. We have done some of the nightclubs, night, nightclub stocking missions and some of the CEO warehouse crate missions. However, we have done all of those either with a random car or the oppressor not fully upgraded. Now that we have this bad boy upgraded, we're going to go and see how much easier it is to do. I hope it's a lot easier because I put myself through a lot of pain and I really want that to stop happening. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I don't know why I came back here because I'm going to go to my nightclub first so I will see you over there. So what we're going to do is go and pick up the $95,000 from the safe. Obviously, I could wait until this is more stacked up, but since we have no money, I kind of want to get this just in case we need to purchase some body armor or some ammo. And then we're going to go ahead and do one of these nightclub... I don't even know what to call them. Um, What do you call them? We're going to take the VIP to the hospital or a house or something. And of course, they give us a really annoying <laughs> slow vehicle to drive. This is going to become an absolute meme, isn't it? Nightclub management missions. There we go. If you don't know what these are, in case you haven't played much since the most recent big update. These missions were added in so that if you do these, basically you'll get a little bit of money, but also replenish your nightclub popularity, which is very crucial to have up at the top. So you get as much money per in-game day as possible. I think you get these missions every, I don't actually know, to be honest, roughly if you go back to your nightclub every hour or so, you'll probably get a new one. So just keep checking whenever you get one, go do it. They don't take any more than five minutes and help you refill your popularity meter. If you keep doing these throughout the day or whenever you're online, your popularity will never go really below 90%, which is really good because that means means you can get around $50,000 per GTA in-game day. And if I'm not mistaken, a GTA in-game day is around 45 minutes or so. So that's about 50k every hour give or take, which is pretty good. But I'll just go ahead and skip through the rest of this mission for you boys because I, I understand it is very boring. And here we go, the snobby VIP back at their home. I definitely didn't crash into the wall there. I don't know what you're talking about. I can definitely drive. And there we go. As you can see in the pot to pot, Guys, I really need speech therapy. God damn. As you can see in the top right, we get $11,000 for that. And the nightclub popularity has been increased. So again, 
took me about three or four minutes. Definitely worth doing whenever you get one of those missions. But now that we're free of the pesky businesses, business, p pesky business of rich VIP snobs in my nightclub, we can go ahead and start with the jobs. And yes, I'm going to start with my dreaded, dreaded Johan missions. Wish me luck. Well, I guess at least it's not the usual mission I get. I get a crate mission, which is, well, they're all crate missions. I understand that. But one of the truck crate missions, which is much less stressful. I actually hold up. Maybe not. I'm Last time I did this, I died a lot as well, didn't I? God damn it. Okay. Okay, so the only thing about this mission that I didn't consider is that now that we have missiles on our oppressor, we kind of got rid of the machine guns. And I, I don't know if missiles blow this truck up. I guess we're about to find out. Okay, luckily it's armored enough, thank god. How many missiles do they stop? Only two! You know what, that's not bad actually. Now I just have to actually kill the guys, which might be a slight issue. Don't blow yourself up. Fuck. Well, I guess we're not doing a Johan mission first, so let's do some CEO crates instead. Hopefully this goes a little bit better. Okay, okay, what do we have here? We got some narcotics, and we have to kill some people? Or is it just in the truck? I'm hoping it's just in the truck. That would be much easier for me. Nope, it's been stolen. Alright, time to kill people. Wow, that makes things much easier. Oh, but we can only take one at a time, of course. Of course. Oh my god, that guy's a menace. I know I killed them all, but I didn't run over their dead bodies. That's just plain disrespectful. I guess at least this time, with the fact that I have to take three crates back, I have my oppressor, which is much faster at getting around, and it's a lot closer to the city than it was uh, when I was up in the desert last time, so I should be able to get this one done. If I can't, I'm just gonna quit this video right here. I'm not even joking. And here we go, the final one to be delivered to my warehouse. Just have to wait for my bike to re-go back to the ground level. Come on. Yeah, I'm on. And there we go. All three delivered. That's not something I get to say often. And uh, yeah, Oppressor Mark II makes that much easier. I know that in general, that was probably one of the easiest CEO crate, 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 crate missions. God, the, the English is, I know I say it about every five minutes, but it is tragic. But yes, as I was saying, that is one of the easier CEO crate missions. So, so that does obviously make a difference, but you'll probably see a few others in this episode later on and we'll get to try them out. But until then, let's go ahead and make Lupo source some more crates and head over to our MC clubhouse to try out some of the missions over there. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. We all right here we are. We have a bike there we can sell, but that's not of importance right now. We want to go kill some bad guys. That is much more entertaining. And we do have life and death bikes. Perfect. That's what I wanted to try out. Here we go. Hopefully we get one of the good locations. And we have the lost MC. That is the the bad one. Oh wow! Would you look at that? Life and death bikes on the first time. Let's see if we get a good one. Uh, uh, oh, God damn it. Oh, wow. Life and death bikes on the first try. Let's see if we get the good one. Yeah, there we go. So what we want to do first is head over to the location where the second part of the mission takes place, which is just over here. And we can take them out quickly, then go to the place and get the death bike. That will make this mission much quicker. And I believe... No, don't boost. I did the wrong thing. Still getting used to the bike, as you can see. And we can just, we can just do this. Are uh, they dead now? That should be everyone. I think they're all gone ski. All having a nice lullaby. Okay, now we can head over to the house and get the death bike. And once we get it, that's the mission done. Damn, these missiles work from a long way away, don't they? God damn. Hop off right here. No, not that way. And we have our assault shotgun to make this even easier. There we go. You're down as well. I am shooting him. Oh, okay, he's dead. <laughs> now, can we get the switch the first time? Probably not, but... Uh... Oh, for fuck, come on. Okay, I've actually thought of a theory. Can you actually flip the other alarms before those guys get upstairs? Because they seem to stand by the front door for a long time. Of course, to get the fucking shocker. This is going shockingly. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was probably very loud. Okay, this should open the downstairs. Can I get to the elevator before they even get upstairs? I can. Okay, so if you trigger the alarm, don't even worry about it. Just keep on flipping them switches, baby. Now, kill this guy first, then this guy, then this guy. Perfect. And then we get on the death bike. And as long as we don't mess up now, this is mission complete. All right. Only at 26 minutes and on pace to be bringing the bike back very shortly. Just under four and a half minutes, 72k. I wouldn't say the oppressor makes that 
like much easier than it already was. It was already a pretty easy mission in general, especially if you had something like an armored car or just like some good weapons, but it's definitely an improvement. I'm not going to complain, am I? So 176k, Malk, shut your mouth. About 1.1 million left to get the agency. And there's a few more methods we're going to use. Obviously, we have the time trials that will get us about 400k. We have the arcade Johan missions, which I need to actually complete one. We have the arcade uh, daily income, which is going to be helpful. And then we have the CEO crate warehouse, which we can sell. So speaking of the CEO crate warehouse, let's go again. Let's Let's go ahead and get another mission. Is it also concerning to you guys that I've been commentating and doing this stuff for quite a while now? And somehow my verbal communication skills seem to be getting worse each episode. I think that's very concerning, personally. I didn't think my mental state would be degrading this quickly, but apparently I was wrong. Special cargo, give me that good shit. No. Gimme, gimme, gimme a man until midnight. Don't know the rest of the lyrics. All right, what do we got this time? Tobacco and alcohol over at this side of the city. This almost looks like the same mission I had in the last episode. Kind of hoping it isn't because I have a really bad feeling I'm going to end up blowing up the truck if that is the case. Gimme, gimme, gimme a man until midnight. Pay my ass white and then slap my cheeks. Did I just create a new banger? Apparently so. You see, with my commentary, I don't know if I should feel more inclined or less inclined to leave in the random shit I say when I'm not really thinking much because... It's kind of strange, and I should probably be embarrassed and absolutely disgusted at myself, but at the same time, do it be funny? I hope so. All right, what are we looking at here? Who's got my, um, drugs, in a sense? Tobacco and alcohol are drugs, right? I'd say they are. Is it just as simple as picking up the truck? Seems to be getting lucky with these missions today, at least. This feels too good to be true. Yep, a fucking course it is. I knew something was going to go down. God damn, calm your tits, lads. It's only it's only tobacco and alcohol. It's not that illegal, is it? In fact, I swear it's not illegal at all. Why, why are they chasing me so much? Like, I, I might be selling to minors, but <laughs> you don't know that. Can I call Lester in this situation or are they not going to let me? Let's take a look, because that would make things much easier if he can just make them go bye-bye. Oh, I can. Ah, oh, wonderful. Lester UG, my guy. You may be an understandable, unbearable, overweight incel with many social issues, but my god, can you make a computer work well? It's ironic that I just called out 99% of League of Legends players right there. Oh well. Oh well, we're back safe and sound. Another really easy mission, in fact. And this episode is technically about rating the effectiveness of the Oppressor Mark II with missions in the game. And if we are going by that system of rating them, that one it didn't really make much of a difference, did it? Kind of helped us get over to the location, but that's about it. To be fair, I don't even know why I'm rating the effectiveness of this bike. Everyone knows this is the single best vehicle in the entire game for pretty much everything, including making everyone else's life a living hell. But I think it's just nice to reinstate it once in a while. Everyone sees this as a grief machine, but if you really just take it and look at it, it's just the most efficient thing of all time. I don't know what point I was trying to make there. I'm stating the obvious, I know. But now it should be time for another Johan mission, and we can only hope this one goes better than the last. Okay, here we go. This is the mission I wanted. We have one down at the terminal, which if you watched last episode and didn't skip the few minutes while I was raging my entire goddamn head off, you would have seen me struggle a lot with the missions down at the docks. And that is mainly because the amount of enemies that spawn in these missions is absolutely ridiculous for one player to fe feasibly get rid of. At least it was until I got this bike. So we're going to go ahead and see if this makes any difference. Oh, and yeah, I'm not going to even try to park on the boat this time. I don't see the point of it. It only made my life genuinely the pits of limbo. Is limbo worse than hell? Or is limbo just kind of like a boring white room that you sit in? Kind of like a doctor's office or, you know, like a uni lecture. Oh well. It will make me hurt myself in many ways, so I'm not going to do that this time. My plan is to take out as many enemies as I can, get on the boat, and get the fuck out of there. Okay, let's go. Wow, that's been quite effective, I'd say. There is a car on the boat. That's not going to help me too much, but it is what it is. Last time we did this mission, the goods disappeared into oblivion, and that made me very angry. So let's let's hope it doesn't happen this time. Okay, it's, it's not letting me jump over the railing again. I hate everything. Why do you have your knife out? Why did he have his knife out? I have my gun out literally seconds ago. What is wrong with you? Oh, well, there we go. Guys, it's a miracle. Zero deaths. Zero screaming. Well... Actually, I think so. Was the zero screaming? I, I really hope so. I'm going to look back at this in the edit and see if I'm just blanking out the hatred or something. But zero deaths done in under five minutes. This is what bliss feels like. This is what accomplishment feels like. This is a type of feeling that... 
Yeah, I thought I was going somewhere with that as well. Don't worry. Gimme, gimme, gimme some money at midnight. I'll spend it on all the... I really... <laughs> I don't want to finish that sentence, actually. <laughs> I have regret starting that. I had lyrics in my mind, but trust me, I should not be saying them out loud. Okay, we're back. It almost feels like a dream that I've managed to do that so easily. No anger, no yelling, no disgust, disappointment, rage. Just comfort, ease, swellness. It feels good. It feels good. Okay, back to mission grinding. Hey, first time, let's go. You love to say it. Oh, good finish. Didn't fall off and die that long. Okay, the bike just disappeared there a bit. But pretty quick, pretty quick. Up another 72k, not gonna complain. A little bit closer to our goal. Okay, so this should be our last CEO crate mission until we go ahead and sell our stock again. Obviously, I can sell more stock at once, but I'm pretty sure, again, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I believe nine is the lowest or the highest amount you can sell before you need multiple sell vehicles. And I just don't wanna take the risk with that because it's painful more than anything. But it seems that our goods are down here in the construction site which I don't think I've ever had this mission before, so I'd be interested to see what it's like. Seems like we're having a dirty little cell mission down here. Just, um, shoot you guys if I can. Thank you. And, uh, that, that went well. Show yourself, boy. Ah, oh, shit, I missed. Oh, God, no! <laughs> ah! Yep, this is, this is gonna be fun. So this is the situation where I'd probably want an Armored Karuma or something else like the Insurgent or a Night Shark, I believe. That's a car, right? But I do not have any, have any of those yet. So for now, we're gonna have to deal with uh, my self ability and confidence, which both are very, very low. That kind of worked. That, okay, never mind. Uh, this is fun. This is, this is really fun. Bro, how- Jesus Christ, lad! Oh my word, how fucking fast do these guys shoot? I know I have no body armor, and I could easily go to the gun store and buy some, but as you know already, I'm lazy and stubborn, so I'm not gonna do that. Is that all of them in that area? I goddamn hope so, because I ain't checking. You reckon I can jump down here? I'm going to. Yep, there we go. Okay, only what? Four deaths? That's reasonable, right? Everyone dies four times at some point in their life. Don't try and think too hard about that sentence. It makes perfect sense. And we're back. There we go. Now with nine crates, we can go ahead and sell them all and pray that we don't get the boat or plane because both of them kind of suck. Yes, we got the truck and there's two delivery vehicles. Fuck my life. There was 10 crates, wasn't there? I didn't see. Ah, uh, see, this is why I wanted to get nine crates, not 10. Oh, well, we have 30 minutes. We'll, have, we'll be fine. Just kind of annoying, really. I've used Trackify. God damn it. Is it in here? I hope so, because I'm going in. Perfect. Now we just need to do the other one. Let's go ahead and get my oppressor so I can get back quickly. Uh, here we... What do you mean? It flies. I don't need to be near a road. As your boy Doc Brown says, we're going, we don't need roads. I know that's something very insignificant that I should not be getting angry at, but it's for effect, I promise. And also the road is literally five meters away. What are you talking about? Who's, what is my mechanic doing? What am I paying you for, lad? Deliver me the bike. I like, come on. What do you mean I don't have one stored? How do I, how do I get my bike then? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, we're getting our Sparrow. Life's so difficult, right? Have a flying bike and a million dollar enterprise? Psh, life's really hard for me. Okay, lad. What the fuck? Oh, okay, just destroy destroyed a signal jammer. Um, I've actually never destroyed any of those before, actually, but um, I believe what they do is that if you destroy all 50 of those signal jammers, you might get some money or something, but I believe you can also... Oh, yeah, it says in the top left there if you're reading. Okay, it's gone now. But basically, if you destroy 50 of those signal jammers, which are located on buildings across Los Santos, you will unlock a special person for the Diamond Casino heist that is that gives you like a more amount of time to steal money, so basically it makes the heist a bit easier. I think it's worth doing, but I've never gone out of my way to do it before. 
before. So, you know, it's there if you want to do it. Maybe I'll do it in another episode at some point. In fact, let me know down in the comments, should I make an episode or even do a stream of Broke to Balling where I go ahead and do every single collectible in the entire game? That means the signal jammers. That means the, um, what is there? There is the film, like the Lost Center's film stuff where you get the alien soup. There's the Lamar Davis weed bags. There's the action figures. There's a lot of different collectibles in the game. I don't know how many there are, but there's definitely close to a thousand overall. Should I do a stream or video where I go ahead and do all of that in like one sitting? Yes, I'm suggesting this even though I know it will be extremely painful to do, but it's all for your entertainment. So um, if you want to see me do that, let me know and I'll have a little thinky dinky about it. There we go, 145k. Lovely stuff. Guys, what did I say last episode about brown vehicles? Like, I'll admit, this one doesn't look nowhere near as bad as last time, but still, stop painting them brown! What the? Why am I glitching out? Yo, why am I so short? What, what's going on? Hey, that offended me, to be honest. Okay, so I reckon we've done pretty much all the missions I wanted to show you with my new Oppressor Mark II fully upgraded, so you get the gist of just how much better that bike is for doing pretty much everything in the game. There's one more thing I want to do a little bit later, but first, you know what time it is. It's time trial time. Ha, huh, yeah, get it. But holy shit, I just realized four minutes 15? How long is this time trial? Where are we going exactly? Surely it's not the top of the map, is it? Oh my good lord, okay. Is that really the best route to go? I feel like going through this canyon is just an L. I feel like going over this way is much smarter. So can we get a good route going down there? I guess so. Uh, We'll have to give it a shot, see how it goes, but uh, wish me luck. It's hitting nighttime soon as well, so that's gonna make things so much more difficult, but... When do I not like pain? Three, two, one, go. I'm kind of making my own route as I go because I feel like I maybe know the map better than the GTA, G P the GTA GPS does is what I was trying to say. Mainly because if you've ever played GTA for a long period of time, oh, uh, that's kind of wrong. Uh, you would notice that the GPS kind of makes you do a lot of really unnecessary turns where you could easily just go straight and turn a few streets later. And I feel like they've done that for this as well. So hopefully my decisions ended up being better time save than whatever the GPS was telling me. I really hope so because doing this multiple times is going to be really annoying. But we're on pretty good pace. Already at this part of the highway and it's only 1 minute 48. That's very impressive. I think we're going to comfortably, comfortably make it at this rate unless I fall off and have a really big crash or something. Which which again, would not surprise me. No! Okay, God. Jeez, that scared the shit out of me. Okay, it's getting close to three minutes now and I'm starting to get a little bit panicked. I think I should still make it, but uh, it's, it's getting a bit close. Got to be careful on this turn because it's quite tight. Get around it. Perfect. And I can see the finish line right there. We have just about a minute left. Pretty comfortable in the end. Let's just take our time and go around because we don't want to mess up here. Here we go. Nice little turn. And we can even just have a nice little stroll down to the finish line. Maybe even get off and pop an emote. Hold up. I actually want to get up, get off and pop an emote because it's funny. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Emote. Emote. Action. Uh, respect. Okay. Get back on. Get back on. Go. Okay, yeah, just to, just to flex on the race there a little bit. Only 2,500. Sorry, 250,000. Really? Don't you usually get 300k for most of them? Is it because I emoted? Did they take off money because I had to flex on them? God damn it. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, time to do the next time trial, I guess, which is down here. Not too far away. Let's go. Oh, fucking hell. Oh my god, the concussion that my guy must have after that. Holy shit. How's your brain not smushed? Oh my word. I'm surprised my guy's still living, to be honest. All right, where are you taking me this time? Only 58 seconds, so it seems like a pretty short time trial. And yeah, that's that's going to be really easy. Okay. Of course, the one I say that's going to be easy is the one I crash in. And there we go. Much easier the second time around. So, as you can see, we are now inside of the nerve. Okay, Simeon, you really had to go ahead and ruin my beautiful explanation like that, didn't you? You bold prick. So, as I was saying, we're now inside the nerve center inside of our terabyte. And the last thing I wanted to do before I end the video, and by end the video, I mean continue to grind up to 1.2 million, is try out some of the missions you get alongside with the terabyte. This touchscreen panel lets you in on a system that is actually very, very useful. So, from here, we have client jobs, and you can also source a bunch of different cards which is really good of course but we're mainly here for the client jobs right now and there are only two we can do as a solo player without the drone to do diamond shopping and targeted data we need to purchase a drone and to do collectors pieces and deal breakers we need more players so 
These are the two we have an option. A robbery in progress, which is we locate a ongoing bank robbery and steal the gold. And data sweep, which is where we hack vehicles to identify which is carrying said data and deliver it to the client. I've never done either of these missions before ever. So I'm really interested to see how they are, how much money they get, and um, if they make me lose my mind again. So uh, let's do it. We'll start off with robbery in progress. So that bank ain't being robbed. Uh, Where even is the bank on this one? I I'm lost. All right. Any banks being robbed here? Nope. A any, any robby robby boys? W where the hell is this robbery happening? Come on. There we go. And it's all the way up in Blaine County. Just what I wanted. So as you saw, the bank robbery is going on all the way up in Blaine County, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. We got a fast bike. We'll get there in no time. And here we go. Lankman Dan is closing in on the scene, about to fuck up some shit. Guys, a minigun? That's not good. I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Okay, hold up. Kind of more interested in the minigun guy. If we can go ahead and kill him, that would be great. Seems like he refuses to come outside for some reason. Quite annoying. Is he really just not coming out? Ah, oh, fuck's sake. It happened again. I didn't realize my bike was rolling off the edge. And by the time I realized it, it was, it was, it was too late. I don't have motor insurance for nothing, I guess. I only lost 10k. Uh, only 10k. Okay, where's my minigun boy? Um... Okay, well, the thing is, you're standing behind glass and it won't let me shoot you. So, like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Excuse me? What What does the game tr expect me to do in this position? The guy's just standing there refusing to come out. I have to go in to shoot him because apparently I can't shoot through the glass. What do I do? <laughs> oh, did I get him? Oh, I did. I guess that's what I do then. <laughs> okay. Okay. Only thing is I don't really have my oppressor, so hopefully my sparrow will be good enough. Like, why are they spawn it so far down the street? Get in, get in, get in, get in. No, don't blow yourself up again, Dan. That's a bad idea. And now we just gotta wait for the cops to not see us anymore, even though we're very obviously just in the sky. But apparently people in GTA cannot look above 90 degrees and I have to go to a drop off. I didn't realize that. Okay, now my terabyte's in the middle of nowhere. Let's return it to storage again. I I'm sorry for whoever has to drive that. I'm sure you're very annoyed at me. But guess what? I don't care. Okay, let's go to the drop-off in the most unnecessary way possible. Um, sure thing, I guess. We <laughs> didn't see anything. Ah, oh, shit! Why do I have the cops again? I was just pointing a gun at an innocent civilian. Oh, wait, that kind of makes sense. The guy's trying to buy the stolen gold off of me. I don't think he cares if I'm doing something illegal. Like, what's going on? Okay, the cops won't find me swimming in the pool. They respect people who like to have a nice skinny dip. Well, not skinny. I'm as clothed as I possibly could be. Um, but a nice dip in the afternoon. It's the least illegal thing you could possibly do. Oh, hey, guys. How's, how's it going? Having a good day at work? Let's see if they run me over. Wh what the hell are they doing? This is truly a sight to behold. Oh my, oh my fucking god. <laughs> Lads, what is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, sure thing. There we go. Mission complete. 33.5k. You know what? It's not too bad. I did lose 10k because of my destroyed oppressor though, so probably not worth it in the end, but it is what it is. All right, now let's go ahead and try out the other mission which is data sweep. Okay, we can't do it until three minutes passes. Fantastic, I'm just gonna wait. But while we're waiting, I want to talk to you about today's sponsor, myself. If you take a look at my YouTube analytics, only 15% of you are subscribed. So all of you that aren't, hit that subscribe button. Otherwise your mother gets it. And by gets it, I mean a very loving conversation where I tell her that her child should subscribe to Lankman Dan because of all the positive health benef benefits, such as, um, I'm so sorry. I just wanted to try doing the cringy YouTuber thing at least once I, to see if it works. I'm sure this is like 20 minutes into the video anyway. So if, if uh, most people by now that are still watching at this point probably are subscribed. But if you're not, uh, do it. It would make me content. Thank you. Okay, data sweep is ready. We're going to hack some vehicles and deliver some data. Let's get into it. I don't know why I got so hyped for that. All right, how are we hacking? Secure serve? Uh, okay, where are we going exactly? There's one here. Let's go to it. Here we go. Hack, 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 hack. This is the hacking song. I'm going to steal your data while wearing a pink thong. Okay, shit. <laughs> First of all, I'm not wearing a pink thong. It was just a word that rhymed. All right. Okay, stop shooting me, please. Stop shooting me, please. Stop it. Um, how exactly do I... Should I get the vehicle? Because, well, I'm about to die, one. And two, I only have rockets on this, so... 
What exactly is the game plan here? Do I get out of the bike and try and shoot the driver? I think so. I think that's the only thing that makes sense. So, um, let's go. Was that the driver? Nope. I'm thinking of Australia because I drive on that side of the road. So I have the wheel on that side of the car. God damn it. God damn rest of the world using the wrong side of the road. D don't worry. I know we use the wrong side technically. Shut up. All right. Second time's the charm as the saying doesn't go. Wait, wait, why are you turning around? You bitch! <laughs> what a dickhead! He saw me, stopped and turned! That is the most pussy shit I've ever seen in my life. Why? Be a man and take it. Like, come on. Okay, there we go. Mans is dead. And you hit my oppressor, you dick. Wait, that's the wrong car! Hold up! What <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't even realize. I'm I'm such an idiot. Oh my god. So basically, twice in a row now, this weaseling bastard has turned down a different street when I've tried to shoot him. You know, I'm kind of sick of this mission. I'm just going to shoot a rocket at the car. Whatever happens, happens, right? If the car blows up, I know for next time. If it doesn't blow up, then good. I, I can't be bothered. You're getting destroyed, mate. Wherever you are. Did he turn around again? Oh my god, no, he's just stuck. Is he dead? I think so. It's an armored vehicle anyways. Oh, what the fuck just happened? All right. Gimme, gimme, gimme some money at midnight. I'll spend it on all the bitches at the club. And if they, if they, if they don't want my attention, I'll go get drunk and beat my mom. No, don't say that. I, she, I love my mother. She's a lovely person. Gimme, gimme, gimme some love until midnight. I don't get it much, so I am really depressed. And if I, if I, if I don't, and if I, if I, if I don't get it tonight, I'd, I'll go in the closet and hang myself. Unce, 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 unce. Can we get a drop on that, please? Bow, 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 bow. I think I'm losing my mind a bit. And it is done. The shit has been delivered. Woo! 31k. That was not worth it. All right, another 100,000 from the nightclub safe. I'm glad all the young teenagers that are definitely drinking underage in the country of the United States of America are getting lit and wasting all their money so I can go ahead and buy stupid shit. Thank you very much. Okay, lads, as we can see, I currently have $926,000. And if we go on and check the price of the agency that I was showing you before, we know that that is around 1.2 million. So there's about a $300,000 discrepancy between what I have and what I need. But if you know me, you know I'm a little bit of a magician. Some might say a real magician. Some might say I, I just edit my videos, but in the snap of my fingers, I'm going to gain $300,000. So here we go. Uh, wait, hold on. Why? Um, hold on. Let me try this again. Ah, that's better. Okay, um, I don't know what happened there, but just forget about it. But if we look in the top right, we have, well, I need to add the money to my bank account, so it's more obvious to see, but we do have over $1.2 million. Absolutely fantastic. There we go, 1.25, and that is enough to go ahead and purchase our very own agency. If we go on over here to Little Soul, we could actually buy, as you know, we don't have enough money for Vespucci canals. Doesn't matter though. We're gonna go ahead and buy this one for 1.2 million. Boom, boom and boom there we go back down to 44k so once again we're broke i guess we're gonna have to fix that in the next episode aren't we so make sure to hit that subscribe button comment down below if you um love me no don't say that comment down below if you love yourself we need some positivity all right and i'll see you in the next episode <laughs> goodbye